in this video, I'm going to show you how to get Better Than Adventure, the installation, whatever, so you can start playing it. And later in the video, I will also show you how to play modded Better Than Adventure. Because yes, if you aren't aware, the community has made mods for this mod. So there, have fun with that. The launcher BTA recommends is using MultiMC or Prism. I'm going to be showing you with Prism. Just go over to the prismlauncher.org website and then you can download it and install it like any other program. Then you're going to want to go to the Better Than Adventure website or their official Discord to get the download. So they have this download update utility thing which it will like download a thing that will update it automatically for you. Uh, like because they're, they keep releasing new versions for Better Than Adventure. You can do that if you want. I'm not going to be showing that in this video. I'm just showing how to do the plain normal instance for MultiMC slash Prism. So you're going to go down here, click on the MultiMC instance, and you're going to just download that. After you download that and also downloaded the Prism launcher and like installed and all that, you're going to want to, well, launch the Prism launcher. So I got it over here and it's going to look something like this. It's going to actually be empty, I'm pretty sure, because uh, there will be no instances in here. Uh, these are just my instances and it's super simple to install the instance that we downloaded from the website. You just go into your download folder wherever you downloaded it to and you just drag and drop the zip file onto there and you'll get this pop-up window. You can name the instance whatever you want. Super cool BTA. Super cool BTA. And then you hit OK and extracts it and there you go. You got the instance and just out the gate you can hit launch and you can start playing it. Oh one thing I did forget to mention uh, with the prism launcher just like many other Minecraft mod launchers you are going to have to sign in with your account uh, with your Microsoft Minecraft account otherwise this won't work but assuming you've signed in correctly you got this instance you're ready to play vanilla BTA on the currently this is the newest version of 7.1 as the recording of this video you just hit launch and it'll work and you just play and have fun now if you want to play modded BTA similar to modded Minecraft you're going to need uh, to have a modded instance of BTA or like a mod loader and the community has made a mod loader which is a fork off a of fabric called Babric. Uh, but to get all that stuff uh, you need to go to the Discord, the official Discord server for BTA. So I'll either have a link in the description for that or if I will also have a link to the official website here and on the website you go to home or I guess, wait, I don't think you need to go to home. Yeah, no, you just scroll down on any page and then you'll hit Discord, click on that, and then you're gonna wanna join the Discord, accept the invite and join the Discord. Once you've joined the Discord, it's gonna look kinda something like this. You're gonna scroll down on the side here and go all the way to where it says, uh, under community content, where it says mods and community downloads. So you click on that, and what is usually pretty much up at the top because it's pinned is Babric Multi MC Instance. You're going to want to go to that. And now I've scrolled down pretty far uh, because I'm scrolling all the way down. But what you'll see is this. You'll see this once you first click on it. And you're going to click on this GitHub link right here. And then it's going to take you to the GitHub. And go to whichever version of BT you want to go to. Uh, that m modded has supported, modded supported up to down here. I recommend just doing the newest version. That's where a lot of the mods are currently and are being updated to and supported. So version 7.1. You just want to download the BTA Babric instance for 7.1. Download that. And once you have that downloaded, just like the vanilla instance, you just drop, drag and drop it into here. Name it whatever you want and it will install it and just out the gate like this, it will work similar to the vanilla instance, but you have no mods. So if you click on the folder for the instance, uh, go to Minecraft and then mods, there are two mods in here by default. Uh, these don't do anything necessarily right now. Uh, Hapalib is a like library mod that like other mods are, pretty much almost all the community mods are dependent on. And then there's mod menu, which is also packaged in here, which just gives you an in-game menu to see all the mods. So to get more mods, you're going to have to go back to the Discord server and just browse the source 
browse all the mods here that the community has made. Uh, this page also has texture packs. So if you want to help filter some of that stuff out, you can click on this tag right here, Mod Fabric, and it filters out most of the non-modded stuff. Uh, some of the mods I recommend for like just quality of life little um, client side mods, I recommend the mini map mod. Uh, this is a good mod to play with. I also recommend the BTA light overlay mod so that you can see the light levels. You can toggle it on and off. And another one I highly recommend is Resourceful. So let's download this one, uh, Resourceful. What Resourceful does is that it allows you, it gives you the modern vanilla uh, ability to have multiple resource packs or texture packs um, applied at the same time. Because beta Minecraft, you can only have one texture pack at once. So we can go to the modern link. And then you're going to want to, assuming you're playing on the newest version of BTA, you're going to want to click on uh or you're going to download resource 1.3.0. You do similar process for downloading the other mods. This is just the example mod I'm showing for downloading mods. Now you got that downloaded, go to your instance. You can go from the right menu here or right click on it, go to your folders, go to dot Minecraft, go to mods, and you can just drag and drop it into there. Alternatively, you can go to edit. It'll bring up this menu and then you go to the mods tab and you can also just drag a drop into here as well. And you can see all your mods here. You can toggle them on and off. And there you go. Have fun. Uh, I will say if you want to join a like BTA server, especially one that's a vanilla server, so it's not modded at all. Even if it's a client side mod, not all mods work on a multiplayer server. Or like, like, and what I mean by that is that like it'll crash or not even let you into the server. So be wary of that it very much depends on which mods and sometimes some mods become unsupported or whatever later. So you, just like playing with vanilla modern Minecraft mods, you, you kind of just have to fiddle around, m mess around and find out what works if you're trying to play at least multiplayer on BTA. But yeah, hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully it was simple. I'm pretty sure someone's already made a tutorial like this before, but I just wanted to make a more current tutorial of it, even though it's similar, but also include how to do uh, modded stuff as well. And one very last, last thing, for some people, the modded might not work if you're using the wrong, like, Java version installation or it, stuff and all that. And honestly, I'm not well versed in that. I think I'm using like Java 17 or whatever that's called for for these instances. You can go onto the Discord where there's help, support. People have come across these issues before. I'm not going to be showing that in this video. I am sorry if you do end up having that issue. And that's all for the tutorial. Bye.